everybody. Welcome to day 26 of your 30 day challenge. My name's Rebecca Louise and we are getting fired up for our 30 day program. And do not worry if you're like, hey, it's day 26. Where do we go on day 30? I have got you no problem if you haven't already signed up to get your free 30 day program with a nutrition guide. Because remember, 80% is nutrition, 20% is the fitness. You can add your email in right here and I will send it to you. Oh, and you can print it off, put it on your wall and it just feels so good to take it off. Penny and Alfie have already left me. What is going on? First of all, I want to say shout out to everybody who's done the 26 days. I'm so proud of you. We're going to do an amazing hourglass figure workout today. I'm going to get rid of the dog beds because screw them. They've just started to disappear. So we're going to get started with a nice little warm up today. Oh, okay, so let's just push those feet into the ground. Lift that chest up nice and high. Take a nice inhale through your nose. Ah, exhale everything out. That's it. Inhale through your nose and exhale everything out. Take a nice big circle, push down into those heels and lift up through the chest. You're so proud of yourself today. You showed up, you're gonna do an amazing job. Lift up nice and high, take it one more time and squeeze. Okay, we're gonna take it across the body. So you're gonna squeeze in, so we're gonna work that waist today. We're gonna work our hips as well and get that hourglass figure. Here we go. So take it across the body. You're gonna bring your elbow to your knee and give me a little crunch as well, that's it. Lift that chest up, push down into the ground in that supporting leg. And here we go. We've got a nice whoo, 28 minute workout today. I'm gonna to give you a, a cool down to do at the end. Oh, and then we're gonna feel even better and ready to go for day 27, which means we've just got a couple days left. All right, take it across. All right, now you're gonna hold it at the top. Hold and little pulses. That's it, so crunch. Use your obliques, use those abs and take it down. All right, shake out that body. We're gonna take it over to the other side. So imagine getting that elbow straight to the knee. That's it. All right, I'm so fired up for you guys. You guys are doing so great on this challenge. Can you believe it's already day 26? That is absolutely unbelievable, right? And maybe your body is tired. Maybe you need a bit of a rest, but it's okay, right? That's why every single week on this 30 day challenge, we've had one day that's yoga and stretching and meditation. So important to give yourself that rest every single week. Here we go and breathe. Woo! All right, we're gonna bring it up and we're gonna take it to some little pulses. So that's it, so really use that core, push down into that supporting leg. I know it feels challenging, but keep it going for three, two, one, come back to the center. Now you're gonna extend your arms right in front and you're gonna sit back in your booty, okay? We're gonna take it into a squat, but both of those feet are gonna be facing towards me. You're gonna come down, you're gonna squat, and then you're gonna squeeze all the way up. So keep those arms out in front. That's it. Oh yes, makes it a little bit more challenging today. Here we go. Now, try and keep those arms straight out in front. Push those knees out to the side, send that booty back into the heels, and then tuck those hips under as you get to the top. Here we go. Oh, I am so proud of each and every one of you. Even if you have just done one of the workouts over this 30 days, you can always go back, you can start at number one and work your way through. And then once you've completed it, I think it's time to become a VIP. All right, hold it down right here. Now push those hips back, lift the chest up, extend those arms out in front. Now you're gonna bring those elbows and squeeze. That's it, push the booty back, knees out to the side. Oh, I know it's tough, but we got this. Keep it going. Lift that chest up nice and high and take it all the way back and take it into some little pulses. Push those knees out to the side. Push those heels into the ground. Woo! We're gonna get fired up today. We're gonna work a little bit of those obliques, get that tinier waist, work on those hips. And here we go. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Extend all the way up to the top and take it really slowly down to your edge. Push into the ground and tuck those hips under. Woohoo! We got this, everybody. Get fired up. We are gonna crush through these last couple of days. Nobody is gonna be left behind, right? We are gonna push through and do this together. That's it. Tuck those hips under, lift the chest. Woo, breathe through it. You got it, everybody. Come on, let's keep it going. So let's take it one more time, down here, and little pulses. Come on, push those knees out to the side. Push those hips back, three, two, one, and hold. Just hold right here. I know those quads are on fire. We got this, three, two, 
one hand release all the way up. Oh my goodness. Take a sip of water, keep hydrated through this. And I want you to give me a number one in the comments or in the chat, wherever you're at right now, if you have had one result from doing this challenge. If it's just more energy, you've had a positive thinking, you've lost weight, you've toned up, whatever it is, I want to hear from you guys so I can give you a massive high five. And maybe let me know what your result is as well. All right, we're going to take your twists from side to side. So lift that chest up. You have a nice straight line from elbow to elbow, and you're just pivoting side to side. Here we go. We're going to extend a little bit more. Now, you can always add weight to these workouts, right? So if you're like, hey, I'm finding these too easy. I want to do a little bit more. Boom. You can add on weight and start with, you know, two, three pounds and then work your way up. The last couple of reps want to be challenging, okay? So it's too easy, it's time to increase the weight. We're gonna take it down to the ground and we're gonna twist it, wood choppers. So down, touch that heel, and then nice extend, stretch all the way up to the top. So right here, it's a great idea to add in some weight if you're finding that this exercise just needs a little bit more of a push. Here we go. Woo. Now give yourself a smile and decide today that you are gonna finish this workout. And you're not just gonna finish day 26, you're gonna go and finish absolutely all of them. No matter what, you can get through it. Even if you do one every two days, that's okay. All right, we're gonna take it up to the top and we're gonna pulse. That's it, so take little twists. Feel those obliques working. Oh yes, those inches off those waists. Here we go for three, two, and one. Right, we're gonna take it down to the other side. So down and twist. That's it, just warming up those obliques because we've got some serious, oh yes, we got some serious ab exercises coming up and I just want to make sure that we are nice and warm. All right, lift all the way up. That's it, come down to the ground. Now if you don't want to touch the ground, you can come down halfway. Anybody can do these exercises, all just depends on what you want out of life. And if you can start with the discipline of exercise, you're going to find so much more discipline in other areas of your life. All right, give me three more. Extends, come on, we got this. Two, and one, lift up. Little pulses, that's it, take it out to the side. Now pull the belly button in towards the spine. Oh, give yourself a nice little smile. Lift up, nice and proud. Three, two, one, come back to the center. Take it into a squat to one side, back to the center, and over to the other. All right, we're gonna start on those abs. Woo, right after this song. So push those knees out to the side as you get to the center and lift that chest up nice and high. Be strong, be assertive in your moves. Know that you are gonna get through everything that is happening in your life right now if you just keep showing up. Here we go. And give you a couple more. Push those knees out, lift the chest. Breathe through it, everybody. Woo, we're doing so good. Yes, we are. Come on. Last one, hand release. Oh my goodness, woohoo! All right, nice little warm up. We're gonna come down to the ground. We're gonna do a couple of ab exercises. Oh yes we are. So we're gonna take it into some side plank dips. So this is really gonna work your oblique muscles. So right here, put your hands on your obliques, okay? We're gonna get them to pop. Right, we're gonna come down into our low plank. Now, option number one, you're gonna come onto your knees. Make sure that your weight is forward. You're not right here. And you're gonna come up right here and we're gonna take it nice and slow over. So what I want you to do this time is think about making a nice big circle. So you don't come back to the neutral part, you come and make a nice big circle over. That's it, so up onto those tippy toes. Really allow that chest to lean forward, having your head straight down and here we go. That's it, keep moving. Nice, slow and controlled, big half circles. Hey, now look down at your hands, and as if your hands was giving you a little reflection if your face, and it's telling you, just keep on going. All right, nice big circles. We're gonna take it a little bit faster. So come back to the center and hold right here. Now all you're gonna do is a slight bend in your knee, and you're gonna bounce from side to side. That's it. Okay, hoo hoo! Oh yes, you're like, what is she doing? Let's keep it going, everybody. That's it, so pull that belly button in towards the spine. Push down nice and strong onto those hands and take it into those little twists. Feel the inches coming off. Feel your body changing with every single rep that you do because you showed up today. Not everybody showed up, 
and that's why you're gonna get the results. Here we go. Keep it going, nice and strong. Take a nice inhale and a nice exhale. As you exhale, smile because you are still here and come back to the center. Here we go, hold right here. Now turn and twist. If you need to, come down onto your knees. You're gonna hold right here, three, two, one. Now take it over to the other side. Lift up and just hold. Really think about using your oblique muscle. So pull up nice and tight here and then take it all the way back over to the other side and hold. That's it, just hold for a couple of seconds either side. Lift up through the chest. Now take it through over to the other side. Push down into that elbow, nice and strong. Hold for three, two, one. Come all the way back to the center. Now this time, take your hands apart and just hold, squeeze. That's it. Now you're gonna kind of draw a big circle. That's it, so drawing a big circle with those hips. Oh yes, oh my goodness. Woo, who can feel the burn? We're gonna take it over to the right. That's it, nice big hip circle. Woo! Right, pull that belly button in towards the spine and let's take it over the other way. Oh yes, who's liking these new moves? Take it into a nice big hip circle. You need to come down onto your knees. Last one, and release. Oh my goodness. Whose first time was it doing that move? I think we might have to do that one more time at the end. <laughs> you guys are doing so good. I love this. Someone said that their attitude towards working out has changed, and I think I did turn a little bit. I guess that'll take some time. Yes, you're great. This is incredible. It's all about attitude. 20% is your fitness, 80% is your nutrition, right? Which is what we have on the app. And we also have a huge mindset section on the app as well. So we're gonna come all the way down to the ground. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to read all of these afterwards. Okay, what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna take it into reverse crunches. So I want you to flex your heels and we're gonna come up and we're gonna take it nice and slow. So up and then, this is gonna take some time and control. So as you go up, just think really slowly down because we wanna have that control. Push those heels up and nice and smooth. Woo! I literally cannot wait to read all of your improvements over the last 26 days so far and we're only just getting started. Here we are, push those heels up to the sky. Whew, and breathe through it. Heels up and extend. Squeeze all the way down. That's it. We're gonna take it slow, we're gonna take it a little bit faster in a second, but let's just go for three, two, and one. Okay, now we're just gonna take it little pushes up. Here we go, so straight up, that's it. Double time, you got this. Let's do 10. Breathe, here we go, seven. Six, five, four, three, come on, two, and one. Okay, hold right here. How are those abs feeling, right? The top parts of those abs are burning. We're gonna take it down to our nine degrees right here, and we're gonna tuck those hips underneath. Now push your knees into your hands, and feel that right here. Oh yes, okay, we're gonna take it into some twists from side to side. So bring those knees together, hands down to the edges of your mat. You're gonna take it over down to one side, not all the way down to the ground, but you're gonna bring it all the way back up. Here we go. Oh, use those abs. So what I want you to do, come down to one side. Now listen here, pull the abs in, right, by tucking the belly button in towards the spine, and then that is what brings your legs back up. It's not your legs, right? Because I'm gonna tell you this over and over again about how to use the body part that you want to work out, because then you're gonna get quicker results. Here we go, pull those abs in nice and tight. Over to the other side, tuck those hips under, and here we go. Breathe through it. Woo! Looking so good, everybody. All right, we're strong, we're fierce. Take it all the way down and hold to one side. Now, tiny little pulses. Now, pull those abs in nice and tight. If you feel like your back is coming off too much off the ground, just bring your legs a little bit higher up. Oh yes, I know it burns. Three, two, one. One, you're like, Rebecca, it hurts so much. I'm like, yeah, that's why we say, hashtag, I can feel the burn, Rebecca. All right, everybody, that's it. So little pulses over to the other side. Ooh, that's it. We're working those side obliques. Now pull those abs in nice and tight, belly button in towards the spine. Three, two, one, come back to the center, push back into those hands. Feel that, those abs alive, feel them turned on. Yes, they are turned on. This is why we do some static exercises as well. We're gonna turn those abs on 
and we're going to take it into some bicycles to work those oblique muscles. So pull the belly band in towards your spine, lift your chest up using here, extend out to the side and just hold. That's it, hold right here. Now we're going to extend and we're going to hold. That's all you're going to do is you're going to hold for three, two, one, back to the center. Now lift it, here we go. Woo! Come back to the other side and extend. You're just going to hold it. That's it, now pull the belly button in towards your spine. Lift the chest up, tucking those hips underneath. Okay, come back over to this side. Now we're just gonna hold here, and all you're gonna do is bring that elbow in to little pulses. You've got this. Give yourself a smile, because we are over halfway. Woo, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it back over to the other side. Oh my goodness, my abs are on fire. Let's keep it going, we got this. Five, four, three, two, one, come back to the center. All right, hold right here. Now bring that chest up just a little bit more and we're gonna take it over just our elbow. So you're gonna keep those knees at 90 degrees. Oh, I like that, it rhymed. Okay, so this time you're gonna take your right elbow over to your left. Now hold it up at the top as much as you can. Lift that chest up a little bit more. Come on, squeeze for three, two, one. Over to the other side, lift up that chest. Come on, keep it going, super strong. Breathe through it. Five, four, three, two, one, and hold right here. Okay, we're gonna take it one more time. This time you're gonna take that right hand, you're gonna take it over to your left, and you're gonna extend forward. That's it, so you're lifting over to the diagonal. Lift that chest up. Here we go, try and keep those knees nice and still, and you're just working those obliques. Now try and come even more over to the side, as if you're gonna to touch the opposite ground. Now that's it, give me a couple of taps on the floor. Here we go, five. Tuck those hips underneath, come on. Three, two, one. Take it over to the other side. Little pulses. Woo! Now it's so important here that you continue to tuck those hips underneath. Otherwise, you're not gonna feel it in those abs. You're gonna feel it in the back. So all the time, pull that belly button in towards the spine. Woo! Tucking those hips underneath. Let's take it down to the ground. Little taps. Oh yes. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center and go straight into bicycles. Oh yes, I know, we're on fire, but guess what? This is how we're gonna get the results. If you need to take a rest, take five seconds and then come back to join me. Here we go, and as if you keep going with these workouts, right? If you're joining our VIP program, you're part of that app, this is gonna become your new normal. You'll be like, hey, I've got something that keeps me on track, I'm gonna keep progressing, and boom, you're gonna get amazing results. Lift that chest up, three, and two, and one, come back to the center, push into those, into those knees and those hands, into the, your knees into your hands, and release. Oh my goodness me, roll all the way up. If you felt that, just at least one little burn in your oblique, write number two in the comments. <laughs> Everyone's doing so, you're such a great job, love it. Okay, we're gonna come up Ooh, to standing, take a little sip of water, shake it out, shake it out. So. Every single time in life, right, you get to a certain point, you start to get tired, maybe it's halfway through a workout, maybe it's you're studying for something, then we have to change our physiological state. So right now you might feel like, I don't need to do the rest of the workout, I'm not gonna do it. But guess what, we are gonna do it, right? So anytime that you feel like this, you wanna shake it out, because if your body's like this, guess what's gonna start to happen? You're gonna feel like that, and then you start to focus on the negative. So we're gonna keep our chest up, and we're gonna take it into some curtsy lunges. And we're working this side, right here right this side hip lift that chest up and take it out to the side so shake it off all right shake off that negative feeling that you can't do this and it's not going to happen for you because that is bs right it can happen for everybody we're all given the same tools right here all given workouts i'm going to give you a free nutrition guide as well right all you're going to do is add in your email to the link i'm going to send it to you here to help you guys lift that chest up push that hip over to the side here we go. All right, listen for the change. So you're gonna come over to the side, you're gonna take it into a curtsy lunge, then you're gonna take it into a leg extension. You're gonna take three out, then you're gonna take it over to the other side. So curtsy lunge, lift one, two, three, over to the other side. Really pushing that hip out, push down into the ground. One, two, three. So working that inner thigh as well, really getting to target that outer thigh. One, two. Three, over to the other side, that's it. Push that hip out to the side. Now use that core. This is gonna work your balance as well, right? So push down and extend. Here we go, three, two, one, and squeeze down. 
One, two, and three. Here we go. Give me one more on either side. Lift. That's it. Now test your balance. You can use your balance by pushing down into that leg, holding that core nice and tight. Let's practice it one more time. I don't want you to put your foot down. So push that heel out, push down into the ground, stay nice and strong. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Take it over to the other side and strong. Woo! All right, I'm gonna give everyone one more time. If you didn't manage to do it, push down into that leg, lift up. Here we go. When you give it 100%, guess what? You get 100% of those results back. Okay, we're gonna take it into a little squat with the leg across. So I want you to flex this foot. I'm gonna take it down nice and slow and then all the way up. You're gonna to start to feel it right here. This glute muscle here. Here we go, so take it down and then lift all the way up. You can do this. Now, if you need to hold onto a wall, you can, right? There is nothing bad about holding onto a wall. This is just working your core balance. Even sometimes I fall over, right? Here we go. We're gonna take it down. Flex that foot for me. Now squeeze, tuck in those hips underneath. All the way down, slow. Push down into the ground, lift up and smile. Shoulders are lifted, we're happy, we're excited. Okay, start on here, little couple of pulses. Now really push that booty out to the side. You're just like, yeah, take my booty, that's it. Feel that difference. <laughs> Three, two, one, over to the other side. So when you stick that booty out, how different does it feel, right? We start to work that butt muscle. Take it over to the other side. Tuck those hips underneath. We're gonna need to take it down in some bridges after this. Oh yeah, my favorite. Love me some bridges. Tuck those hips under. Here we go. Take a little bit lower. Now get that full range of motion. As you stand up to the top, spread those toes onto the ground and tuck those hips under. Here we go, give me one more. All the way up. Take it all the way down. Now little pulses. Spread those toes onto the mat. Lift the chest up. Now push that booty out to the side. It's gonna work your balance. Stare at something. Three. Two, one, maybe just like, yeah, put your back into it, right? Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground. Sometimes I just chat to myself, by the way, so if you're like, I don't know what she's talking about, just keep following what I'm doing <laughs> when I'm moving around. All right, so we're gonna push down into the ground this time, and if you want to, you're gonna extend one leg out. We're gonna take it into single leg bridges. If you're like, hey, I don't wanna do single leg bridges today, you can do, okay, this, or what you can really do is you can just try. Right, there's no harm in just trying something. If you don't try, you never know what you're capable of. So push both of those hips facing straight up to the sky, push down into that heel and tuck those glutes to under. Push that knee out to the side and give yourself a little smile. Woo, we got this. Let's keep it going. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of you. You should be so proud of yourself, even just showing up some days. Who shows up when they don't want to? That is what a true leader is. And this is what we're gonna create for you guys. It's, it's not just about you know, getting a tiny waist here. It's not just about getting abs. It's about your mindset. It's about changing your growth. So if you've not already checked out, I have a podcast by the way. Uh, lots of people get really inspired by the mindset stuff that we work on. Here we go. Now we're gonna hold it at the top, little pulses. Yep, I know. I'm trying to distract you by chatting because I know that the glute is on fire because mine is burning. Here we go. And five, four, Three, two, one, hold. That's it, just hold. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Breathe through it for three, two, one. Over to the other side. Oh my goodness me. Push down into the heel. Now this knee, gotta go slightly out to the side. That's it. Now get that full range of motion. Tuck those hips under as you get to the top and smile through it. Oh my goodness, I am so feeling great. I'm sweaty. <sighs> That's it, come on, keep going. Through into the next song. So push down into that heel, tuck those hips under as you get to the top. Give me a couple more. <sighs> Breathe, that's it, come on. Now lift up to the top, little pulses. Oh yes, both of those hips facing forward, straight up to the sky. Now squeeze those glutes even more as you get to the top. Push down into that heel, here we go. Come on, you've got this. Five, four, three, two, one, hold at the top. Hold, 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 and release. Just come back into those bridges. So all the way down and extend. Push into those heels, tucking those hips underneath. You have got a piece of paper in between your booty cheeks that you do not, maybe a dollar bill, right? It's gonna be a dollar bill, because maybe not a dollar, maybe a hundred dollars, right? We're not gonna do too much for a dollar to squeeze it in between our butt cheeks, but maybe a hundred dollars, right? We're gonna keep that into how it, you know, <laughs> keep it into our butt cheeks. Here we go, right. So now push into those heels. That's it, and those knees out to the side. 
Now lift up to the top and little pulses. That's it, tuck it under. Tuck that hip underneath. You're gonna sometimes feel like it's the lower back, but it's actually your booty that is on fire. Oh my goodness, here we go. Little pulses. Breathe through it, 10, nine, eight, seven. Come on, you can do this. What have you got in you today? You are made to finish this. Three, two, one, and hold up at the top. Hold right here, squeeze, tuck those hips underneath. Push up a little bit higher. Take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, release those hips down to this ground. Give yourself a squeeze. You're gonna go roll all the way over into, oh, you're gonna go into a high plank. Yes, I know, the butt is on fire. It might fall off. I cannot guarantee that you will be able to sit down on the toilet normal tomorrow. All right, we're gonna be right here, and we're gonna extend that leg up and down. So pull those hips under, nice and tight, and yes, that burn is already right there in the glutes, so we can feel it. It's pretty intense, right? Here we go. Now just imagine that butt is getting perkier with every single rep that we do. Here we go for five, four, three, two, one. Over to the other side. Oh, yes. Come on, lean forward a little bit more, making sure those hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Hips are both facing down towards the ground. And keep that leg quite high, right? You don't want to take it all the way down to the ground and lift it up. It's kind of pulses right at the top. Here we go. Three, two, one, and hold. Now, if your wrists are hurting, you can come down right here. You can have fists, or you can hold on to weights as well. We're going to come back up here, and we're going to take it across. Here we go. So flex the foot, take it across. Here we go. Pull those abs in nice and tight. That's it. A little over. A little toadstool. We did toadstools the other day. I think so. That's it, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Over to the other side. That's it, we got this. Keep on going. Lift that chest up a little bit higher. Here we go. Lean forward, three, two, one. Come back to little pulses at the top. Tiny little pulses. Now, you want a nice flat line? These are small little pulses this time. We got this, five, four, three, two, one. Over to the other side little pulses. We got this. Woo! Here we go. Back over to the other side. Take it over to the left. And alternate. Woo! Here we go. Come on, everybody. Fire it up. Push down into those fingertips. Lift up through the chest. Now pull those glutes. Squeeze them nice and tight. Nice flat line from your head to your shoulders all the way through to your hips. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, hold right here. Come down to your low plank and hold. Hold right here. Come on, you got this. Pull those abs in nice and tight. Now take it dip from side to side. Last part. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, take a sip of water. You got one more. <laughs> one more song to go. How are you guys feeling? Woo! Okay. That burn in the butt, right? Okay, right, we got this. Okay. Come on, you can do one more. You can say yourself do one more, right? We've still got, still got two minutes. Right, we're gonna come all the way down and we're gonna take it into our, actually we're gonna start up right here. We're gonna take it across, right? We're gonna do these, but we're gonna pull it across. Now, option number two, you can do it right here, okay? Or bring one leg up or even more, extend right here. But I want you to get a twist because we wanna work those obliques. So if you're going straight forward, you're probably gonna work the top part of your abs, but we're gonna go slightly to the side. Here we go, that's it. So try and lift up a little bit more. If you need to, put your hand down, okay? Or if you need to, put your leg down. Make it more challenging, out to the side. Here we go, three, two, one. Over to the other side. So really, the more that you can twist, the more that you're gonna get it in those obliques. Here we go, lift that chest up. Keep it going. Come on, twist a little bit further. Think about those obliques twisting, that waist every single time rep that you do. We're taking the cross. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come back to the center, heels down onto the ground. And we're gonna take it nice and slow all the way down. And then gently take it all the way back up again. Now, if you use, need to, you can use your hands over the top as momentum, right? If you want to, you can bring it all the way up here and take it all the way and just take it down as low as you can. All right, come on, let's get fired up. Last part, everybody. Woo, give me your energy. What energy are you giving me right now? I'm gonna match that energy. Let's keep it fired up. Pull those abs in nice and tight. Now twist a little bit further. Here we are. 
Oh yes, nobody is going to stop us right now. No one can interrupt us. No one is going to be able to take away the choice that we have to keep on going with our discipline, whatever we choose to be and are in this world. So let's lift up. Here we go. Now just take it into your Russian twists from side to side. Lean back a little bit further <laughs> and smile it out. Oh yes, maybe just dance too. Maybe you want to just dance over to one side, right? Dancing makes you feel good. Music changes your mood. So whatever you need to do to change your physiological state each day to become the best version of you, whoo, that's what we got to do. Here we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm going to let you know when you can stop, but not right now. All right, take it to one side. Little pulses. Here we go. You're so close to finishing. Take it over to your left. Here we go. <laughs> and back to side to side that's it those russian twists lean back a little bit further three two and one. Oh my goodness me guys you did such a great job i'm gonna put down the cool down video right here so that you guys can do it make sure that you do sign up for the 30-day program because it's going to lead you into becoming a vip and massive shout out if you want to know more about mindset nutrition and then creating your own training program part and how to do that everything is in this book it's literally all my head and the motivation in this book so all the details are in the links below and i will see you for day 27. i feel like we are just uh we're crushing through this everybody we are super crushing through it i'm so proud of you let's keep this going <laughs>